Hey guys, it's Layla. Today we'll speak about the shoulder. This is the deltoid region. You have three bones. You've got the humerus, then you've got the scapula in the back, and you've got the clavicle on top. The region gets its name because of the muscle. It's a large muscle known as the deltoid muscle. It's got three parts. You've got the clavicular part, which attaches to the clavicle, the collarbone. You've got the spinal part, which attaches to the spine of the scapula. And then you've got the acromial part, which attaches to the acromion of the scapula. It inserts into the deltoid tuberosity on the humerus. You've got two joints. You've got the acromioclavicular joint between the acromion of the scapula and the clavicle. Then you've got the glenohumeral joint between the glenoid of the scapula and the humerus. You have four rotator cuff muscles. They stabilize the shoulder joint and they also assist in the movements of the shoulder. We have a mnemonic. Some siblings invite trouble. The first S is for supraspinatus, above the spine of the scapula. The second S is for subscapularis. The I is for infraspinatus, below the level of the spine of the scapula. And then you've got T for teres minor. For the vessels, remember the axillary artery, which comes from the subclavian and goes into the brachial. You've got the axillary vein coming from the subclavian. And then you've got the branches of the brachial plexus, mainly the axillary nerve. All right, let's go through what we studied today. So three bones, the clavicle, the humerus, and the scapula. The muscle, the main one is the deltoid. Three parts, spinal, clavicular, acromial. Two joints, acromioclavicular and glenohumeral. Vasculature, axillary artery, axillary vein, branches of the brachial plexus, rotator cuff muscles, some siblings invite trouble, supraspinatus, subscapularis, infraspinatus, and teres minor. Alright guys, that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next one. Take care. Bye.